It's been almost a year now since that mass shooting in Dadeville. Four people died, several others injured there. After that sweet 16 birthday party, one of those teens was Sean Kevia Kiki Nicole Smith. Her family now turning their pain into purpose. We're joined now by Chrissy Brown and Amy Jackson, Kiki's cousin. Ladies, thank you all so much for joining us thank here for us. on Alabama Live. Amy, we'll start with you. You're her cousin. I am. Tell us a little bit about Kiki and your family. Um, Kiki, our family um, is very close knit. And Kiki, losing her was like taking a piece of the puzzle out. So we're still that close knit family, but we're missing that one piece of the puzzle, which is Shankivia. Um, it's been very hard, very trying for her parents. Um, my family, my extended family, the whole community as a whole, we're missing her so much. Chrissy, where do you fall in this puzzle piece with Kiki's family? Well, I'm a distant cousin and I've known uh, Kiki for a very long time. And uh, we went to church together. We kind of conversated together a lot. She was looking forward to being a nurse, so we shared uh, stories about the healthcare field. And she anticipated on going on and being an asset to the community. So uh, our primary, my primary focus and goal at this time is for our community and the um, the state and just the entire universe to know that Shankivia, she died, but we want her legacy to live on. So our scholarship gala that we're, we're, um, we're trying to um, actually let it be, um, just, just, just remember her, how she lived. And uh, we want it to be something that can go on each year and uh, we just want we we just don't want people to remember how she died but how she lived and we figured like at the scholarship gala we fund scholarships educational scholarships for nurses try not to tear up here but <laughs> okay. yeah we're coming up on a year now how is the family and how is Dadeville almost a year out um it's just like Dadeville is like a Time have stopped. Time have stopped. We still recovering. It's not. It's not normal yet. It's not the same. It's not the same. No. Mm -hmm. I was born and raised there, so I know this was something that we read about. This was something that we never thought would ever happen in our small town. So everybody's now trying to get back on track, but it's a new track that we're getting adapted to. So the gala. You have a date time, location set for it, and how can people donate? Okay, so we we are all excited about the, the gala. It will be this Saturday, mm -hmm. um, April 13, at 5 o'clock p.m. at Central Alabama Community College in Alexandria City. And uh, to make donations, uh, you can contact uh, myself or, or Amy. Um, the uh, like, uh, or you can do Cash App at um, Kiki Gala Fund, or our numbers are on the flyer, and uh, we'll be happy to accept donations or even sponsorships. You've already been getting donations since you've been in our building. <laughs> what, <Yes. laughs> what is what is it like to have people donate and help contribute to keep her legacy alive? It's really indescribable because um, you know people are giving from the heart and that, that makes the, that's the biggest difference of any giver that have gave to us um, you know they're not obligated and they're doing it because it's heartfelt this is something that we we want to shun keep your dream could be lived out through others and we'd be able to be a part of it so that's that's even more grand than anything. Help another beautiful young lady like she was go on to college and become a nurse. That was mm -hmm. her dream, right? You said that, that was her dream. That was her dream. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do everything possible to make uh, her dream, uh, her legacy live on through someone else. And this is the first of many. You want to have this every single year? Yes. We do. Yes. Every single year. Mm -hmm. Ladies, thank you all so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. We appreciate it.